what up y'all welcome back today we about to get started on this makeup using iman cosmetics i've already done my eyebrows and i've already put on my lashes so we're gonna get right into it starting off with the foundation so the foundation that i used is the um earth three compact and it came with like a little sponge doodity. Instead, I decided to go to Walgreens or CVS and just get some of these disposable joints. I uh, prefer these over the, you know, the sponge that comes with it. Kind of like reminds me of the throwback that my mom used to use with the fashion fair um, growing up. So I just use this to get it all over my skin. It matches my skin very well. Like I was very, 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 very shocked at just how well this matched my skin complexion. It is rare that I can find anything to match it. I'm dark, but I don't have a red undertone. It's kind of yellow. Yeah, I don't know. It's This worked out really, really good. So next I'm going to go in with the concealer. And the concealer actually is a stick foundation by Iman Cosmetics. The color that I first used was uh, Earth 2, and then this is Earth 1. I mixed them because I realized the first one was a little too much like my skin tone. And then to blend it out, I use a beauty sponge, but I use my um, MAC Fix Plus to kind of loosen it up some. This didn't really need to be loosened up, but I think it's just, <laughs> it's just my process that I always go through, so I stick with what I know. But I'm blending it out. This was very smooth, um, great. This is the translucent powder, or maybe it's not the translucent powder, I would say it's the setting powder. Um, this was good too. Usually I use my, what is it, the banana powder and topaz. That's usually my ride or die that I use uh, for my under eye area. But this worked really good. Again, I, I have nothing negative to say about any of these products. Next, I'm going to use another classic of mine. This is Fashion Fair. This is actually um, a foundation in the color Teak. I use it for a contour because it is so chocolatey. And it's like, it's just chocolatey goodness. I love it so much. I think it matches my skin tone perfectly. Like, it's not too dark. It's just perfect. It gives me a nice little brown um, shade in the contour areas. So usually I go in with just some random brush that I have, kind of blend it out, and then I go in with a fluffier brush from uh, Morphe to kind of blend everything out along with my shimmy. <laughs> I just did. I don't know why I did that. Oh, child, these faces, girl. You getting in that contour. <laughs> It's really important that I blend it out. So I'm blending, 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 blending. All right, so next I'm going in with another contour from Fashion Fair. This is in Earth. And it has this shimmering effect. I've used it in another video. I believe my last video. And it, it's very chocolate, but it has a shimmering effect, but it's not glittery. So it doesn't look like I'm, you know, a big ball of glitter. It's just the perfect bronzing shade. I guess that would be the most appropriate term for it. It's a bronzer. And I just use it to kind of set the areas that I use the teak on. Not sure if I mentioned this, but this is also fashion fair. Next, I'm going in with a blush. This blush that I'm actually use is, using is from ColourPop, and it's in the color Central Perk. Um, I think it's actually an eyeshadow. I just happened to order it because I, it was a super dark, rich um, plum color, and I felt like that works best for my skin tone. Um, I love it. The only issue is it dries out. This one has dried out. I got to buy another one. All right, so next, 
I'm going in with my Rod of Dye Black Radiance Contour Palette. Um, I'm using this for my highlight. It is such a subtle but beautiful highlight if you have chocolate skin. It's gold, but it doesn't come off glittery. I'm not about glitter, as you can probably tell from <laughs> all the things I've talked about so far. I like a sheen. I like a shimmer, but I do not like a glitter. This is perfect. I recommend this to any brown girl um, to use for a highlight where you don't want to be, you know, shining to the gods. But you want a little bit, a little bit of something on the cheeks. This is really, really good. And then next, I'm using a eyeshadow. I do apologize, I don't remember the name. I'm gonna put it down in the description box, box below. But this is actually from Fashion Fair. It's one of the items that I also purchased uh, at that event I went to at Macy's. I think it's a good color that complements my skin. It's a little bit darker, just a tinge darker. So I don't wanna wear an eyeshadow that looks like I'm not wearing eyeshadow. So I do like this color. And I think it works well as like an everyday um, eyeshadow. And then to add a little pop of color, I'm going back in with uh, the highlighter from the um, Black Radiance Contour Palette. And I'm just putting that on the lids just a little bit. bit in the um, corner of my eye and the tear ducts just for a little pop of color again the lipstick I'm going in with is an Iman lipstick in the color nude um, this is another one I love this color like it really is like a nude for brown skin this will probably be my everyday lipstick for a very long time but girls that's it hope you guys enjoyed the video see you in the next one bye